Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Y'all probably already saw the title of this video um, and probably already knowing what this is about. And I feel like some of y'all are asking Mackenzie, you're 17, you're gonna be 18 pretty soon. Why are you still getting stuffed animals? And my only answer is that I like them. It's just my hobby. Um, I feel like it's more of an adult collection kind of thing. My stuffed animals can get kind of pricey sometimes. So it is a rather collectible items I kind of do. But I just like the aesthetics of them. Um, I've always loved stuffed animals from a young age. Y'all may see around my room, I do have a few stuffed animals. This is the box that the frog is in, by the way. I haven't even unboxed it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is AJ, by the way. Y'all probably saw him in my first vlog. If y'all didn't watch my first vlog, y'all should totally go watch it. However, um, I do have a lot of stuffed animals. My favorite brands are Rilakkuma. I also have some Hushin brands. And I think that's all I have. I have a My Melanie stuffed animal and a few more. Basically on this top shelf of my room, that's where most of my either childhood stuffed animals are or the ones that I don't like to look at the most, but I like to keep them in my room. I'm sure many of y'all have saw whenever the green spring frog from Build-A-Bear surfed the internet and kind of blew up. It actually went out of stock for a while. I remember first seeing that green frog whenever it first came out and I didn't get it. I was gonna get it and then I started seeing so many people like my age and older getting the bear and dressing it up super cute videos and I actually have the green bear maybe I should go get it here's the green bear the green spring tree frog it's just a long name but I remember when I bought it it was right after they came back in stock I got the email during school my mom actually ordered it for me that's the same thing that happened with this one I didn't even know what came out and I think the day it came out I ordered it so but yeah there's this one we're about to unbox the pink one so let's get started. I'm gonna actually take off the packaging label. Okay, that took off half the box, but that's the packaging. I'm not sure how I should unbox this. Maybe I'll set it up on my desk. Actually, I changed my mind about going on the desk. So I'm just gonna do it right here. But yeah, let's go ahead and open it. Fun fact. I have left-handed scissors because I am left-handed and they come in handy a lot but um the shipping was pretty fast on this thing oh I need an exacto knife I think I ordered this on Monday and today's Wednesday so that is very good don't judge me on my box cutting skills I cut boxes at work actually Oh, the lighting. There's a like, big old window right here. Not big. A average size window. So when it refresh open the box, it has like this, this kind of thing happening. Let's take it out. Oh, I'm obsessed already. Let's take it off. Oh, yes. I always adjust their heads whenever I first get them. There she is. Oh my God. She's so soft. I don't know if this is what mine felt like whenever I first got it. I don't know. Let's make her head not look so derpy though. Here she is. I ordered her online and I ordered her stuffed. Um, I don't get anything special in my bears. No like scents or sound chips or anything because if I have to wash them, I don't want all of that to get damaged. Here's the comparison between the two bears. Pretty similar. Um, as you can see, the fur on this one's just a little bit more like used, I guess you can say. I'm pretty sure this is what it felt like whenever I first got this bear, um, but it eventually just gets kind of grittier. You see the fur difference between them? But yeah, they all look the same, paw prints the same, the eye colors are the same, and that's what it looks like. I'm super, super excited. So if y'all are not familiar with Build-A-Bear and how that kind of works, they all kind of come with a birth certificate. If you buy a Build-A-Bear and build it inside of a store, you can digitally fill out the birth certificate inside of the store. But if you order it, obviously, you can't really fill that out. So you can fill it in with pen. I used to keep these whenever I was younger. Now it's, dude, it's just not that big of a deal for me, but I see how that's super fun and interactive for kids. I can tell y'all the pricing on it. 
So each of the bears, same price, they were $22. Um, whenever they came out, I think shipping was more on this. I'm not sure why, but um, I got shipping free with this. But a problem with this one is that this one got lost in the shipping. So we didn't get this one for a month, and I got this in three days. So I'm gonna tell y'all the names of these things. So I named this one Ling, L I N G, because I don't know. I just like the Ling name. And then I'm gonna name this one Sek Sekura, Sekura. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. S A K U R A because it reminds me of the flower and also the anime character from Naruto. Now I have both of them and I love them dearly. I'm probably gonna go do some homework and stuff. I guess I will talk to y'all later and have a good day. I don't know what day it is for you, but I hope you have a good one. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye. You wanna say bye? Bye.